Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be giving you all my opinions on the AMD Raven Ridge APU announcement. They do look very promising, but I'm going to run down the specs real quick and give you all my speculation into what they're going to be performing like. So let's get right into it, shall we? All right, so AMD announced two Raven Ridge based APUs at CES this year. And I'm going to go ahead and run down the specs real quick for those who don't know or have not heard about this. The two CPUs are the Ryzen 5 2400G and the Ryzen 3 2200G. Now the Ryzen 5 2400G is a four core eight threaded CPU, basically a Ryzen 5 1400 at 3.6 gigahertz base clock with a max boost of 3.9. Now this APU comes with AMD Vega 11 graphics, which the 11 represents the amount of compute units on the GPU die. It's also rocking 704 GCN cores, a GPU clock speed of 1250 megahertz and a TDP of 65 watts. And this APU comes in at a price point of $169. So the Ryzen 5 2400G is the one that I find really interesting. An APU on a quad core hyper threaded CPU, well simultaneous multitasking CPU, does seem a little bit overkill, but we'll get back to that in just a moment. Now the Ryzen 3 2200G is a quad core CPU. It basically is using a Ryzen 3 based CPU with a base clock of 3.5 gigahertz and a boost of 3.7 gigahertz, but also rocks AMD Vega 8 graphics, which has eight compute units. There are also 512 GCN cores and a GPU clock speed of 1100 megahertz, the same TDP of 65 watts, but this one comes in at a price point of $99. We'll come back to the Ryzen 3 in just a minute. Let's talk about the Ryzen 5 2400G. I have a couple problems with this launch and here's why. Now I do see some use cases for a setup like this. This would be a really good entry level editing setup because you can get a Ryzen 5 based CPU with four cores and eight threads and have that horsepower to do video editing, along with the acceleration of an AMD Vega 11 GPU with its 11 compute units. Now there really is no 100% definite performance number on what we can compare these GPUs to that are on board on the APUs, but some people have been speculating that the Ryzen 3 2200G could perform roughly on par with something like a 750 or 750 Ti, which could be really game changing because you were getting these CPUs at the same price point of the Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5 equivalent. So with this CPU, you are getting an added bonus. With the AMD Vega 8 graphics on the Ryzen 3 2200G, you're basically getting a free placeholder GPU, which really translate perfectly back into the whole GPU mining craze. People have been scraping and waiting to get graphics cards for their systems and just really have been without any prevail coming up with any sort of solution. So with this coming in, AMD is actually delivering an option for people to get a Ryzen based CPU and have onboard graphics to be able to play games now while also having an upgrade path into something in the future because these APUs, unlike other APUs that AMD has offered in the past, are actually good CPUs on top of just being a CPU with a bigger and beefier graphics chip on board. Now I did say the Ryzen 5 2400G did seem like a kind of a weird value and mainly because I don't know why they would make a four core A threaded APU with Vega 11 graphics. It depends on how powerful these graphics are going to be. If they are on par with something like an older 270 or something like that from AMD or like a mid range to low end GPU from a couple years ago, I can see this being a great entry level platform. I just want to know the GPU performance much like all of you want to because if these two CPUs do perform very well, there's really no reason to go out and buy a discrete Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 3 CPU unless they're on a very deep discount. Because just having onboard video, regardless, even if you're not using it, is very important in certain troubleshoot scenarios. And honestly, the price points are very compelling. The Ryzen 5 for $169, basically on par with the normal Ryzen 5 CPU. But the one that really does make me excited is this Ryzen 3 2200G for $100. 750 Ti possible performance on a CPU die with four cores for $99. Oh, I can just feel the budget builds flowing through my veins right now. They're going to be coming out like crazy with these CPUs, and I'm very excited to see what we can put together whenever we get our hands on some. And that about wraps this video up here, guys. If you made it all the way this far, be sure to comment Raven in the comment section down below, and let me know what you think about these APUs. And you're trying to figure out something to put together, I would wait until February when these are speculated to release, because you could get a really awesome entry-level new system, as long as these perform very well, after you see the benchmarks, and you could be getting some 
something that could be very compelling to have. Also, if you are here and you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have been growing a lot in numbers recently, so hello to all you new faces on the channel. I greatly appreciate y'all hanging out. If you are new to this channel, you should know that we upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I do a morning live stream called Morning Energy every single morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, but 8 a.m. on Fridays. And we also do a gaming live stream Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you want to be notified whenever any of those things go live, hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified on all your devices. Hope to see you on the next video, guys. Peace out.